In the last lecture, we have seen that a product measure exists on the product sigma algebra. And now we are ready to come back to um, the few uh, theorems of Tonelli and Fubini on the criteria for interchange of the order of integrations. So, <coughs> for this purpose, we first need a technical lemma called the monotone class lemma. So, let me first define what is a monotone class. Monotone class. So, for a set X, a subset C of the power set of X is called a monotone class if um, for any increasing sequence, increasing or non decreasing sequence E1 subset of E2 and so on. So, countable sequence of non decreasing sets, uh, we have the union. E j, j equal to 1 to infinity belongs to C. So, uh, so these are all uh, in C. So, all E j's, all E j's are in C. And similarly, for any uh, decreasing or non-increasing sequence, non increasing sequence of sets e j in c which means that uh, we have e 1 superset e 2 and so on and again all these all e j's are in c this implies that the intersection of these Ej's also belongs to C. So, it is closed under uh, union of sets which are non decreasing and closed under intersection of sets which are non increasing. Of course, we only take countable intersections and unions. So, let me remark here that uh, an intersection of uh, any family of monotone classes is mono is a monotone class is a monotone class which means that if c alpha is a collection of monotone classes monotone classes in x then the intersection of the c alphas is a monotone class monotone class and this implies that uh, given uh, Boolean algebra, there exists a smallest monotone class containing it, containing, uh, so let me call this Boolean algebra B naught and this smallest monotone class contains B naught meaning that any other monotone class which contains B naught much must contain this smallest monotone class. And also that any sigma algebra is a monotone class. So, 
these two um, remarks will be useful for for what we are seeing going to see now which is the monotone class lemma and this says that given a boolean algebra b not the smallest monotone class containing b not coincides or is equal to with the sigma algebra generated by b not so in the case of a boolean algebra uh the monotone class generated by b not and the sigma algebra generated by b not are the same so let's look at the proof of this lemma so suppose that c is the smallest monotone class monotone class containing b not and b be the sigma algebra generated by b not generated by b not and since b is a monotone class because it's a sigma algebra it's a monotone class by our remark earlier so this implies that c is a subset of b because c is the smallest monotone class containing b not and b is a monotone class again containing containing b not so now it suffices to show so to show that b is a subset of c and for this it is equivalent to saying that c is a sigma algebra containing b not so then we will have equality of c and b so what we will do is the following so for e in a sub uh, an element in in the monotone class c define C E C E to be the collection of sets F in C such that E minus F F minus E and E intersection F are in all of these three are in C. So if we show if we show that c is a subset of c e for any e in c then c is a boolean algebra why because first that of course b not is a subset of c this implies that uh, p and x belong to c secondly we have uh, c is a subset of c e for any e which means that uh, x minus e belong to c because as x belongs to c e this implies that e complement belongs to c so it is closed under complements and third and again if c is a subset of c e for any e in c then this implies that c is closed under 
finite unions because uh, for example if you take a and b in c this implies that a belongs to c b which means that a minus b b minus a and a intersection b belong to c and now you can take the increasing sequence let's call this e1 let's call this e2 and let's call this e3 then I, i'll take the increasing sequence e1 then e1 union e2 and then e1 union e2 union e3 so this is an in increasing sequence and then uh, i'll just have constant uh, of constant sequence after this one so this implies that the union of this uh, increasing sequence belongs to c and but the union is precisely a union b since c is a monotone class so if we show that c is a subset of c for any e then we uh, would have shown that c is a boolean algebra and from boolean algebra it's not to sh is uh, not too difficult to show that c is a sigma algebra so c boolean implies c is a sigma algebra because if c is a boolean algebra it is closed under finite unions and if e1 well e i i equal to 1 to infinity is uh, a collection <coughs> of sets in c then f n i equal to 1 to n e i is a, is an increasing sequence in C because all of these are in C due to C being a Boolean algebra so this is in C and then this implies that the union of all Fn's Fn which is precisely the union of all these Ei's this is in C because C is a monotone class so C is closed under countable unions and because C is uh, already a boolean algebra then this implies that c is a sigma algebra so we see that if we show this uh, crucial thing that c belongs to c for any c for any e in c then it follows that c is a sigma algebra and so let's show that to show the claim that uh, C is a subset of C E for any E in C. So first uh, note that both phi and E, so this is the first observation that both phi and E belong to C E and that C E is a monotone class monotone class now if i if i can prove that uh, b not belongs to c e for any e then we would have shown that c belongs to c e because c e is a monotone class and c is the smallest monotone class so it suffices to show that b not is a subset of c e for any e in c to show this observe that because our definition of c e is a symmetric the relations there namely uh, set minus e minus f f minus e and e intersection f if we interchange the roles of e and f they remain the same so observe that e belongs to c f if and only if f 
belongs to C E for any E and F are in C. So there is this nice relation, and now let let us take A E to be in B naught. Then we have that uh, any F in B naught also is in C E. So if you fix E in B naught, then for any F belongs in B naught is also in C of E because since E minus F and F minus E and E intersection F they are in B naught and so they belong to C. So for E in B naught any F in B naught is also in C E. This means that B naught is a sub collection of C E whenever E is in B naught. This means that C is in C E whenever E is in B naught because this is the smallest monotone class containing B naught and C E is also a monotone class containing B naught. So C will be inside C E whenever E is in B naught. But this implies that but this implies that if f is in c now if you take a general uh, f in c then f belongs to c e for all e in b naught which is the same as saying that e belongs to c f for all e belonging to b naught and this implies that b naught belongs to c f for all f in c and this implies well this is a subset and this implies that C is a subset of C F for all F in C. So this is what we wanted to prove here instead of uh, E we have F and this is what is our conclusion that C is in C F for all F in C which shows that C is a sigma algebra. So this shows the monotone class lemma and now we are going to use this monotone class lemma to prove our uh, theorem of Fobini and Tonelli.